Hi and welcome. Uh, today I will talk about my uh, simple experiment with uh, Shimano brake and uh, shifter housing. Uh, as a brief introduction for not years but decades I have been very happy with Shimano both uh, shifter and brake housing and cables. I've installed it on countless customer bicycles, uh, used it on my bicycles extensively in all kinds of weather. I ride all year round in the winter and in the summer. And uh, when I bought this silver colored Shimano housing, I decided to, I bought them, they look nice and they were at a discount and I decided to give it a test. And so I will put a picture uh, somewhere in the in the video I took a photo what I did was uh, bend each of these each of these housing like this to have a very very sharp bend and tight it, tighten it with zip ties and keep it on my uh, balcony door uh, balcony fence outside so that's like uh, first floor very low a lot of uh, <laughs> uh, exhaust fumes direct sunlight most of the day and sun and the rain and freezing cold everything and so what I uh, did after two years was to check to see if there are any cracks and there there aren't as you can see this is not a <laughs> paid advert for Shimano that's just my experimenting so no no visible cracks even on the parts that are bent and uh, no no a lot, not much uh, rust just a little bit here this is with the spiral steel uh, outer edge the the brake hose here the most uh, most visible most noticeable rust so that's the that's the the worst but again this is after two years just staying there day in day out and so i want to just uh, uh, i was expecting that I, I was expecting that to happen, I must say, <laughs> but, but I just wanted to confirm it in an objective way so that I'm not fooling myself or anyone else just to, to confirm what I already thought I knew from experience. And here I will just put some, here let's try this one first, put some shifter cable and I can feel it going pretty smoothly. So it's looking, it's looking very good, not, not really, not, not much friction compared to new. You, I don't have a, a precise scale to measure the needed amount of force, but you will have to take my word for it that based on the, the feeling I have when I'm working with new housing that this is pretty much the same, so, so not much difference. So here also. I didn't cut this straight on the on the outside, so I had to insert the the cable from the opposite side. But apart from that exit, it's also moving very smoothly. And just to be thorough, I will try to also put some uh, brake cables through the brake hoses in case anyone asks. But and also so that I can know for sure. But I was uh, most curious to hear to to hear to see about the shifter cables and shifter housing because that's where the tolerances are a bit tighter and it's more sensitive while brake uh, housing for as long as it is, it is it is not broken will work just fine so let's let's take some brake cables and try this Here, let me take just one cable out Okay, this is the, the road bicycle cable end, but it's the same thickness and diameter, only this differs. There is an article on my website explaining all these types and standards. And I'll put a link to that article in this video's description and maybe make it pop up in your top right hand corner if I don't forget. But here, let's see, let's see how this fares. This is a wider opening, so more rust and, and all the the other bad ticks could enter here and here we have a problem let's check the the black one so i was not expecting this i must say so it was good that i was thorough but this is not not going all that well 
there is a lot of friction. Okay, here the, the ends are a bit frayed. I will try to cut this clean now. Okay, so let's see. I cannot, I cannot get a clean cut for some reason. I don't know why this is happening now. But... Okay, finally got it. Now let's see what happens. Okay, it's going smoothly now. And now I'm not sure what the problem was. Let's try with this one. Uh, it's entirely possible that I didn't cut the ends properly, so that I was trying to push not uh, through the middle, but in between the, the plastic casing and the inside spiral. So I didn't touch this one. Let's see from this side if I try to insert this. Okay, it's, it's not going very easily. Now, from that side, okay, that black hose housing worked fine and here I tried to insert it from the opposite side and I am facing the same problem okay let's test this to do what I did with the other one okay here I've cut it and let's try to make sure that it's okay so now it's looking a bit better Let's give it a try again and see. No, definitely, we definitely have a problem at roughly this, this length. Something seems to be stuck inside. Now this uh, cable, this housing has wider diameter. So maybe something got inside. It's been, like I said, not one, but two years. And so maybe that's the reason. But it's definitely, this one is definitely not, not moving. And it's not looking good. So I will try to cut it at the exact place where I am reaching this problem. Let's see. So that's roughly here let's see what's in there are there any insects or similar I'm not sure but something is preventing it there is something. There is something in this section. Yes, some kind of insect work. That's what it looks like, at least. I'm not sure. So this was without a, a cable inside. But the rest of this, let's see, apart from that section, it's working good, going smoothly, just like the, the black one. So it was only that side, and let's see the other end. We have the same problem. Here, roughly, let's give it a test. looks the same let's try to push it out first to clear the entrance ok 
Okay. So I think I know what this could be. It could be just gunked up a factory grease because I left it for two years without doing anything. So of course when you leave things and, and don't touch them they will get stuck, they will rust. So okay this one is not looking promising. The shifter housing is working nice but here this does feel like some gummed up grease definitely and uh, probably probably that so okay this this was uh, an uh, a not expected unexpected uh, outcome of the experiment so on the upside apparently the housing did not deteriorate in terms of uh, plastic uh, getting cracks and uh, inners getting uh, frayed or damaged but some factory grease or whatever was inside got really caked up and stuck inside this while well, this one uh, the black one apparently when I just cleared one side after that it went completely smoothly maybe it had something similar but it seems to be huh, based on this uh, slightly better than this of course that's only one section and only uh, two pieces so not something that's statistically valid and uh, so take this uh, for what it is with a, with a grain of salt but <laughs> based on this my conclusion is still that Shimano housing is of decent quality and that this silver housing is not too bad but that the, the classic black housing is probably a safe bet and that I should stick to that in the future except for some exotic products uh, projects when uh, owners insist on certain colors in that case my hands are tight that's the whole video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in some other video if you have any questions please use the bygramming.net forum and i want to also not forget to thank the good people who support my work via patreon that also means a lot thank you very much and that's it cheers stay cool